Welcome back to Epic Airsoft HD. Today we have the WE M4 AEG. Okay, we are back again with another M4. And before you go ahead in the comments box below, oh God, another M4, I'm sick of these. Stay tuned, there's some really unique features on this that you're gonna to want to know about. Uh, WE, as you know, make a lot of glass, gas blowback rifles, uh, like the M4, the SCAR, you've also got the PDW, and they are outstanding quality for gas blowbacks, especially the brand new open bowl series. And a lot of that quality now is reflecting on this AEG. It's the very first one. Uh, we've got an exclusive on this, so I'm dying to get out in the shooting test just to see how it does. But looking over some of the external features, it looks fantastic, so let's have a look at those. All right, starting from the front end, we've got your flash hider. It's, uh, I've had a look at this, I've taken it off just to see how the threading is and everything on it. It's absolutely spot on, the stuff CNC milled. There's hardly any casting on this. It's absolutely immaculate, to be honest with you. Uh, the outer barrel is of great metal quality. Uh, it's very, very sturdy. Nothing like you see in cheaper AEGs round about the same price mark as this. Uh, triangle post is cast beautifully. Uh, all the trademarks on there are absolutely pinpoint perfect. Now, I, can't, I really can't understand how they've made this gun for such a, a low price point. Uh, coming on to the handguard, it's nylon fibre that's on this. It's not crap plastic like you see again on the cheaper rifles. Uh, all the detail on it is absolutely spot on. The handguard is also where the battery is housed, so I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the battery, you know, the capabilities of this gun and what it can hold. Being the M4A1 style hand grip, you've actually got a lot of space in there, so I'm going to put my goggles on just in case. I'm going to try a few batteries inside it. Alright, the first one is the smallest battery I own, it's the 7.1 volt LiPo. It's absolutely tiny, uh, it fits in M4 stock tubes, so it gives you an idea. It's obviously going to fit in there, but I'm also going to show you another feature of this gun. While I do that, this is how easy it is, guys, this is ridiculous. Just take the bottom half off by pulling back on the delta ring, plug on your mini Tamiya, tuck the battery in there, make sure your fuse isn't going to get caught up with any of your wires, so everything's away. Nice neat package, and then you just slide your handguard back on again. Simple as that. Okay, here's a really neat fixture with the gun, uh, especially with the gearbox. If I s fire a couple of shots on semi, When I switch it to safe, I'll put this right up to my microphone so you can hear. It actually resets the spring. I've oh, already was reset. All right, we'll do that again. Hopefully the spring's in the wrong position. No, it keeps resetting right. Basically, all it does is resets the spring position back to where there's no tension on the spring. So when you put your gun back in the cupboard after your day's airsofting, it's not sitting there for a whole week with the spring all tensed up and you're losing FPS because the spring compression is really hard. All right, I'm gonna go show you what other batteries fit in here. I've got a 96 volt mini NIM battery, which is probably one of the bigger ones that you're gonna put in your gun. Uh, this fits in here nice and neat as well. And you get a better rate of fire at a 96 them, which is kind of what you're looking for if you're running with something like this. Good crisp trigger response too. Hopefully we can get the gearbox to notice the difference there in rear fire. We're going to be doing a video soon uh, about all the different types of batteries that you can put in your EEGs. So let's try this. There you go, you heard the noise there. Now the spring is completely uncompressed and you're not losing FPS because your spring's compressed sitting over a long period of time. And as well, this is a really important thing to remember. Uh, the D-ring on this gun is of real steel dimensions, which means you can take real steel guns. I don't know if some of you guys in the US have got some real M4s there. You can put your RIS, your handguards on from real ones, much like Sistema, as we already know. Again, with the stock tube, all the stuff's like real steel dimensions. Everything from here is just absolutely amazing. Uh, if I turn the gun around as well, you'll see on the top rail, the carry handle, uh, all the materials on here, again, are screaming out excellent quality. These are steel CNC'd uh, lugs for taking your, your scope carry handle off. That is how much money they're putting into this gun. Uh, even the charging handle, turn it back around here again, you get a nice plaque off the dust cover. Dust cover is really thick compared to most. As you can see, that's not coming off anytime soon, not at all. Again, nylon fibre, six position buttstock. 
and it's pretty good. All round great gun for only £190. Alright, let's move on to the internals of this gun. Uh, the gearbox is completely unique. It's much like KWA, it's very similar. Uh, I know you guys are big fans of KWA stuff and uh, there's good reason for that. They are rated up to 11.1 volt LiPo, much like this one. And I think this one even pushes that out higher. I've seen some guys put 14.8s in this just to see if they can kill it and it's not done it so far. Uh, the gearbox inside is meant to be reinforced. Uh, this gun is meant to last and they've completely redesigned the, the idea of an AEG. Moving on from the TMs of old and uh, all the other China soft guns that you seem to have problems with. So this is excellent. Looking forward to doing the shooting test again. The magazine that comes with this gun is the high cap type. Of course, WE are launching this gun towards a kind of beginner style, so they're assuming that all those guys that have been out playing regularly and use mid caps have already got that stuff. So, getting a high cap with your first gun is a great idea. Uh, it's again really nice quality. Even the plastics on the magazine are really good. So, you know where they're going with this idea. Absolutely fantastic. Let's have a look at some of the trades as well. You get the Navy SEAL Skull Frog on the side. Which is pretty cool. Better than having a giant WE logo on there, or like G and G do with the combat machine range. They just put the logo on there. Of course, you've got the WE Tactical Co Limited on there as well. And coming around the other side, you've even got the laser engraved auto, semi, and safe modes for your fire selector. Alright, I must have said about three times now how excited I am for this range intro. So we're going to take this out now and try the therameter range and see how it stacks against some of the more expensive and some of the more budget line guns, AEGs that we've tested before. Okay, so we've got our gun in the vise already. Uh, it's not as steady as I'd like it to be, but because of the plastic handguard, I don't want to damage it at all. So I've went here and put it in with the grip, which is good enough. I'm going to be holding it steady myself as well. So again, we use the vise so we eliminate mostly the human element and also we're indoors so there's no wind element that can change the direction of the BB so we're getting the gun's accuracy and not my accuracy I'm going to put some eye protection on and we're going to go ahead and shoot the target semi-auto with 0.25 gram BBs to, to begin with All right. All right, now we're switching to fully automatic. All right, let's have a look at how we've done with the test results. All right, let's have a look at some of the targets that we shot. I've done a couple of semi-auto ones first. This was the first one we shot that you saw. Uh, we had a couple of flyers there and I didn't think I'd quite set the hobby on the hub so we went ahead and done another one. Although the gripping is massively tight, I, I decided we'd go ahead and try again with the hobby unit, a little bit better set. And here we go. Uh, that on semi-auto is very impressive. Couldn't get a really good grip in the vise, unfortunately. Uh, that's due to because of the handguard being uh, quite vulnerable to the vise grip here. Uh, we gripped it by the pistol grip and it's not ideal, but gave us a, a really good indicator just how accurate this is. Even with it not grip properly, it shot pretty damn good. Expect less uh, hot, uh, vertical movement on this uh, than usual because the gun was kind of like settling down and it was getting quite irritating, but you get the idea. Then moved on to full auto and it destroyed the target. Uh, great rear fire, 9.6 volt NIM battery we've got in there. Uh, excellent. Complete devastation. That was a man sized target, about 40 or 50 meters. You definitely have hit this guy. Look at that. Perfect. Excellent for a gun that's 190 pounds. 
So for WE's first ever AEG, they've gone for the standard M4. It's the, I guess, the men's Barbie of guns. <laughs> you can decorate this gun so much. There's many, many upgrade parts. And with the real steel delta ring, now you're talking ultimate upgrades. Like you've got Daniel Defense, all these different company stuff you can stick on this gun. At the end of the day, you're paying 190 pounds. Throw another 200 on there and you're gonna have something completely unique. With performance like that out of the box, maybe put a tight bore barrel in there, uh, it's gonna be an absolutely devastating gun. Uh, very competitive to the bigger guys like GMP and so on. And it's, I think it's a great thing, an absolute bargain of a gun. Uh, if you want to compare this gun to some of the other M4s, you can click on the links here. If you want to see myself and one of the Scouts debuts videos, uh, you can click here. I'm using a similar M4 as well, so you get an idea of the rate of fire and things. We do an episode like this every single Sunday, guys, so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. You'll see more guns like this out in the, out in the, on our reviews. And uh, you can check us out on Facebook, and you can check the links in the description below where to buy this gun. I'd like to thank Airsoft World again for letting us borrow this. Excellent gun, first range test out there. And we'll see you guys next week.